Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is when you're watching this video. I'm here to review with you the key sight words of financial accounting. These sight words will be very useful for learning the accounting language. I'm going to quickly review these. This will be a short video that will help you to know the key sight words so that when you're analyzing transactions, you'll know what to increase or decrease in your writing of your accounting sentences. <clears throat> So one of the first things that we want to review here is the sight words here will be on the left side and then on the right side how we translate these sight words into action in the accounting language. And basically we're going to make an assumption that we're using accrual accounting. And accrual accounting is where revenues are recorded when earned and expenses are recorded when incurred. I have another friendly acronym for this that I call Lake Erie, E-R-I-E. ER stands for earned revenue, IE stands for incurred expenses. So earned revenue, incurred expenses. So when you hear Lake Erie, I want you to think about that as your trigger for accrual based accounting. So let's go through the key site words one at a time. So whenever you see the word performs, provides, renders, services, services rendered, etc., generally this means that revenue is being earned and therefore you need to increase revenue with a credit. Anytime that you see the site word used, consumed, expired, generally that means an expense has been incurred and therefore you need to increase an expense with a debit. If you pay some bill for the current period, remember the current period is also another key site word, that means an expense is generally incurred immediately. The word in advance means that you generally will receive cash in advance or you could pay in advance which we'll talk about next but if you receive cash in advance a liability is recognized so we set up an account called deferred revenue. If you pay in advance we recognize an asset and therefore we set up some type of prepaid asset like prepaid rent where you pay your rent six months in advance or you pay prepay for your insurance one year in advance. Generally we'll set up a prepaid asset for those advanced payments. The other site words that we've been talking about you've seen in a few of my videos is called on account. We can either sell on account or we could buy or purchase on account. Selling on account means that we need to recognize an asset. So we're going to increase generally what I call cash's best friend which is a debit to an asset account, accounts receivable. If we buy or purchase on account, we recognize a liability and cash is best friend on the other side of the coin, a liability is called accounts payable. Other sight words that you need to be aware of is the sight words borrow. Borrow generally means a liability is recognized. You need to increase a liability. Generally the word borrow means if it's long term, you generally will recognize a notes payable. If it's short term for less than a year, generally it's accounts payable. Now, let's look at when we receive cash, either in the current month. If it's received in the current month, generally means it's earned and will credit revenues, unless the services haven't been provided yet. If we receive cash for future months, that means the revenue has not been earned and will again credit a liability called deferred revenue. If we pay cash for the current month, generally an expense is incurred and will debit an expense. If we pay cash for use in future months, there is no expense yet. Instead, we recognize an asset and we debit a prepaid asset. Generally prepaid supplies, prepaid rent, prepaid insurance, something along those lines. Ordering generally in the accounting language, the word order generally means no accounting entry is needed. If we bill or is billing or invoice to customer, generally means an asset needs to be set up and will debit an accounts receivable asset. Finally, if we receive a bill in the current month, generally that means if it's for the current month, go back up to the prior site words, that means an expense is being recognized. So we're going to go ahead and debit and an expense. So again, this is the site, key site words for analyzing all transactions in the accounting language and therefore you should be aware of this, the acronym Lake Erie, 
ERI stands for Earned Revenue Incurred Expenses, E-R-I-E. Please keep that in mind as you review the transactions. Keep the site word list handy. It should be helpful in understanding and analyzing transactions. Remember, we're learning a brand new language. Let's keep this as simple as possible. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. This is a short little video. Take care.